If I'm love is all it costs, I guess I'll make the drive down past the circus line, make sure he's not alive. Dumped him off for River Bridge in the fall of '84. Work around that he climbed down that muddy river floor. Lost my bride, the finest man she claims to ever know. She got to the parking lot, his knees were ready for Love is such a mighty drug, mighty a disease. Betting is sort of floating past the bars with one eye crooked teeth. Floating, and my lady's resting fine. Seven miles out of Brisbane, the bacon oil would land. I laid her down so softly, her kindly reassured. Loving for the taming, and her teeth that can be cured. Hi dear there pluckers, I have a sore fingers again with hopefully another interesting lesson for you. This one is from a gentleman called Zach Bryan, called Crooked Teeth is the name of the song. Okay, standard tuning, capo on the third fret, fret three for the capo, puts us into the same key as Zach Bryan plays this song in. This one is, uh, for Zach Bryan, this one is a little bit trickier than most of his songs. Uh, there's some little fill-ins which are quite nice, okay. So it starts off with the intro riff, if you want to call it a riff, okay. And it's this. Which you play twice. It's also played after the first verse, between the first verse and the second verse, just once, okay. So it starts off A minor, just a strum from five down to one. Okay, then what you do is you leave your first finger where it is, first fret, second uh, string there, and to put the second finger on the second fret of the A string, the fifth string, and play from five down to one, and then quickly change to a C chord, and hit that third on the fifth, and then strum the C chord, yeah? so. Starts okay, A minor, C with B in the bass, or that, that sort of thing. Okay, then what we do is we so we do that. Okay, so when you've come to the C, we open up, take the second finger, keeping the C chord shape, take the second finger off the fourth string. Play the fourth string along, possibly with the third string open, and then hammer back in. Right, so it's sorry. Okay, like that. Open third, open fourth, open third together. Hammer into that second fret, fourth string. Then take that second finger off and again play the fourth string and the third string open. Okay, got that? So. Okay. Alright, then play a G chord, however, normal shape or back to front sort of thing, hitting the bottom E string on the third fret. Okay, making sure you get So now we've got... Right, then the final riff is open fifth string, hammering up to the second fret on the fifth string. Then do the same on the fourth string, open fourth to second on the fourth. And then finally an open third string, and back to A minor. So. So I'll do the whole thing very slowly, okay? So is that quite a quick little G? Almost immediately, open A string, 
hammering up to the second fret. And you just repeat that whole thing twice, okay, for the intro. That should sound something like that. So if I do it, try and do it very slowly for you. Okay, then we're into the verse, okay? The verse is very simple. It's A minor to C to a G back to A minor. All the way through the verse, it's the same sequence of chords goes round and round and round. Okay, and like you do it in the intro, during the verse, um, you do that little lead up from the A minor, second on the fifth, to the C during the verse. Okay, so uh, going into the verse, it's uh, let's just do the intro. And I'll do the first verse for you very slowly, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so. All it costs, I guess, I'll make the drive down just to Texas line. Make sure he's not alive. Dumped him off a river bridge the fall of '84. Words got round and climbed out of that muddy red river for intro. Next verse, exactly the same. Got the idea? So. The verse itself is true and love, then that little Got the idea? Okay. And I say at the end of that verse we do the intro once. Okay, so it comes out of that uh, muddy red river flow. And we're into the next verse, which is exactly the same apart from the very end. Okay. Lost my bride to the finest man she claims to have ever known. She got to the parking lot and his knees were already blown. Love is such a mighty drug, mightier disease. Betty misses the float and pass the bar with one eye crooked teeth. One eye crooked teeth. One eye crooked teeth. One crooked teeth. Okay, so all it is is the same to play as the first verse. When you get to the end line where it goes with one eye crooked teeth, you just go back to the G, one eye back to A minor teeth, one eye crooked teeth, one eye crooked teeth. So you end up doing that line four times in total. Okay, so uh, and then it goes into a little. A little riff which I'll show you next, okay? So, second verse. Lost my bride to finest man, she claimed to ever know. She got to park and love, his knees were already blown. Love is such a mighty drug, a mighty disease. Baby, Mr. Fulton passed the barge with wine crooked teeth, wine crooked teeth, wine crooked teeth. Then you've got that little riff in, in between some chords. Okay, so when you come out of the second verse and you've done that one eye crooked teeth four times in total, when you come out of the one eye crooked teeth, single strum on A minor, um, and then you play the open third string. So, actually, two two strokes on A minor, and then the open third. Then do a C and hammer into that second fret from open on the fourth string. So, it's so and then immediately to hammer that. So it's. 
so then hit that second on the third again so and then open so so come into the A minor open third hammer into the C hit the C hit the third second on the fourth along with the third again and pull off the open fourth with the third open as well so so it's okay so it's got that so I'm hammering into that second on the fourth along with the open third and the rest of the chord and I'm playing the second on the third with the first sorry second on the fourth with the open third and then taking my finger off and playing the open fourth with the open third. So it's okay. Then we play a G. So it's right. So it's so far then. And then finally we play the fourth, the fourth string open, and then the third fret of the fifth string. And then the A minor. And he's just the whole thing again, twice. Okay, so he did the whole thing twice. So it's Basically, it does two lots of that, and it goes into the, what's called the chorus, and it's the same chords as the verse, but there's no, you don't have to do that in the in the chorus. So it's the same chords as the verse. So it's the crooked teeth are floating, and the ladies resting fine. But the, so in in the verse we would go that that bit. Yeah. Well, during the chorus, I don't hear it. So it's just chords, okay? So it's seven miles out of Bismarck next to the open chorus. I lay down so softly, so kindly reassured. Loving for the taming, sorry, loving for the taming. A disease that can't be. Then we do the intro, the first intro again. And he's up into another verse. So that's basically it. That's all there is. There's more verses and a chorus to go, but you've got everything you need to play the song. I've shown you now. Okay. The only other thing that uh, I'm showing you, if you want to, uh, I'll give you some clues <laughs> how to play. If you've got another guitarist with you and you want to play the solo towards the end of the song, there's a little acoustic guitar solo. Um, the chord sequence for the rhythm guitar is exactly the same for the verse as for the solo okay so it's a minor c g a minor All right and the solo itself is right so i'm going to show you i'm going to tell you real frets not not from the capo this is the, the actual fret in real life okay it slides on the fourth string from 8 to 10 then to the 8th fret of the 3rd string, the G string, so up to the 10th fret of the 3rd string, right? You can hammer that if you want, from 8 to 10 on the 3rd, okay? And then quickly go back to the 8th on the 3rd. And then we go back to the 10th on the 3rd and do a little bend and release up and down so sort of. so a bit of bend up down on the tenth on the third back to the eighth on the third and then hammer back to the tenth okay so so far we've got this
okay slowly right right what I'll do there is on the third string 12th fret slide hit it slide it down to the tenth right down to the eighth fret on the third and then hammer up to the tenth from the third uh, from the eighth so it's so 12 to 10 slide third string down to the eighth on the third string then hammer from eight to ten on the third string back to the eighth on the third and finishing up for this bit on the tenth on the fourth so you've got Then we do 10 on the 4th to 8th on the 4th, back to 10, and finishing on 8th on the 3rd. So 10 on the 4th, 8 on the 4th, 10 on the 4th, 8th on the 3rd. So, so far, the whole thing's so far slowly. second half is of the solo is a slide on the third string from 10 to 12 to 11 on the second to 13 so 8 uh, so 10 to 12 on the third slide 11 on the second to 13 on the second you could hammer that if you like so so slide from 10 to 12 on the third and then you've got th um, finishing up on the uh, 11th on the second then hit the 11th on the second again and hammer up to the 13th on the second so right right slowly and then up to up to uh, 11 on the on the first okay so Okay, got that? It's finishing up on 11 on the first. Okay, so. Then we do uh, 13 on the top E string. You can bend it a little bit if you want. And down again, up and down. To 11 on the 12th on the top E string. And back to that 13th on the first. All right. Okay, so now we've got this second bit. Okay, so from the beginning. on the top E string, 13 on the top E string, 11 on the top E string, and then 13 on the second. And then we go back down to the 4th string, 10th fret, 8th fret, back to the 10th fret, and finally, the final note is the 8th fret of the 3rd. That's the last note of the solo. Okay, so this last bit, second half of the solo is. Okay, so the whole thing.
okay and that's the basics of the solo it might change every time he plays it slightly but that's the gist of it okay so uh, there you have it all the parts of the song for you hopefully you enjoyed that and i'll see you in the next lesson bye for now